and welcome along and welcome to the Realism Experiment here on Virtual Farm. <laughs> it's, oh man, what an intro. What, what, what was that? Oh dear. Sloth Farms, welcome along. Jason 03TTV, welcome along. Dylan 160507, welcome along. Uh, the Spy Frag me, welcome along. And W Keen, welcome along. Eugene Krill, welcome along. Uh, one, two, three, JCB, uh, 13, welcome along. Year six. We are on to year six on the Realism Experiment. We spent one year on Oakfield Farm. We spent three years on uh, uh, on uh, Greenwich Valley. And we are uh, on our second year on Bessie Beneath. Welcome along, Super Crazy Mark, my friend. How are you doing? Go check out Super Crazy Mark. He does a lot of horror games. And on a Friday, he does some full guys with me. Uh, and it's always funny. And he's a good old mate. So, uh, yeah, go give him a follow, guys. Thank you, W King. You're very, very kind of you to say. Paul Sinclair, welcome along. Uh, Daniel Kinsberg, welcome along. Klaus 5, welcome along. Nimrod, 1001, welcome along. Uh, Rick, 464, welcome along. Uh, is that everybody at the moment? I think so, at the moment. Let's see if it, let's see if this works. That works, so I can. I think the stream deck's been fixed, which is awesome. Farming girl twenty seven, welcome along. So we can we can get some raffles running and uh, and get some things going here. Shall we get on to this game? Because I'm I'm not great at, at doing the whole just chatting thing. Even though I'm going to have a whole new just chatting screen that's going to be up there for about a couple of minutes at a time. Um, right, so it is springtime. We still have snow on the ground. Uh, Paul Sinclair, thank you for the host. You are awesome. Let me minimize that. Yeah, still got the snow on the ground. Still got frozen ground. Uh, yeah, it's there's not much going on. Uh, we have, we, spring is here, but the temperature has not reflected it. On the plus side, look at this. Ah, when it comes up, there we go. This is our forecast for the next uh, few days. So uh, overcast, but warming up. Uh, then we've got... Uh, third day of spring, sunshine. Bit of sunshine, 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 sunshine. Going into summer. Uh, do we have... I'm just wondering... Oh, we've got standard geo on here. So uh, we can't harvest till late, late summer, and we don't have any crops in the ground. So we are, oh, it's just going to be horrible again. Evening, NetSun19, and take a fanatic. Welcome along to both of you. We want this, I think. Oh, cows is where we want to start. Yeah. Cows need uh, pretty much everything. So that is the four. <laughs> Oh, man. Hello, Pebbles Rocks 22. Welcome along. Netsun 19, thank you for the host. You are awesome. What, no rain? Yeah, yeah, but we, we're not into harvest. That's the thing, the J-Man James. It's not harvest time, so it's not surprising. It is still dark enough, but we have to get the lights on on the tractor. I am nowhere near that. All right. Down and down. Lucky you. I'm in late summer and I got three days right. Oh, we, we had the same. I had exactly the same as summer here on this map this year. We had, uh, basically, we had most of harvest rained off. We were lucky that we harvested what we did. I haven't tried them yet, uh, JCB. Oh no, we want this here. Right, that there. Up. And down. Uh, there we go. Uh, thank you, Fanatic. Uh, 393. Thank you for those. You are awesome. How long have I seasoned? Six days. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping as we've only got slightly frozen ground that we're going to be able to uh, start 
planting by next stream. Because if the ground is good enough, we can plant next stream. We can't. We can't do anything uh, with that this stream. Oh, uh, right. What do I need to do? No, no. We need. Uh, we've got cleanliness. We need water. We need to top up the cows with water. How you doing, Jimmy Alex Gaming? Welcome along. Sun is up, but it's still quite up. There we go. How many hours? We've only got four, considering the amount of work we do with this track to every stream at the moment. The fact that we've got just under five hours on it is amazing. What's the schedule for this week? Okay. So, the schedule for this week is I doubt I'm going to be in the studio by Tuesday. Uh, I've got a whole load of painting, a whole load of setting up and everything to do. So, on Tuesday night, we're going to be doing Bessie Beneath. Wednesday night, we're going to be doing Bessie Beneath. Uh, Friday, we're going to be doing Full Guys. Uh, and then the hope is that we will that will give me enough time to get the studio set up and we'll be on Sandy Bay on Saturday. Uh, if we are able to do it earlier, I will. Um, oh, full guys may start at 8 or may start at 8.30 on Friday. Uh, don't know which yet. So uh, keep an eye out on that. I'd just like to see some older equipment and see this. that is exactly what I do. I do that here on YouTube. I do that over on... Uh, and I do that here on... Netsam, thank you for reminding me. We need to get rid of those damn chickens. Uh, oh, and we need to get a straw blower today. So those are the jobs for today. We need a, we need something to, to do straw with. Uh, and we need to get rid of the male chickens as well. Good call on both parts. Uh, do I like challenges start with... Ah, uh, Rosario! Over on YouTube, uh, right now, I have a series called The uh, Survival Experiment. I start with zero, and I work my way up. Um, I've got a new series starting just over a week's time uh, that will be start from scratch. It will be a start. So, new type of series, start from scratch, roleplay. Uh, I might call it roleplay from scratch. Um, but yeah, so new roleplay series that starts with £500 and, uh, and we'll follow uh, the character doing uh, doing that. How much? Oh, okay, I'm gonna... Wow, they drink a lot of water overnight. Are they giving us milk now? We've got milk! We have milk! That is our first milk! And that is a perfect time for a subscription! Dashboard, thank you very much for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Uh, you are awesome. Yes, our cows are producing milk after a year. Our cows are producing milk. That is awesome. Now, right, get this fell. We won't need to fill this with all the water. Uh, wow, they take. We might need a bigger tank. I'm not sure this tractor will pull a bigger tank. Oh, that is the bigger tank. That takes 10,000. That takes 30,000. Yeah, that is. Oh, wow. Wait, well, hang on. Oh, that takes 32,000. 18. That takes okay. That takes thirty thousand. So this trailer here takes thirty-two thousand liters. Still wouldn't be enough to do our cows. Big boys, big. Ah, <laughs> uh, your mouse is playing up. I think I need a new one. Do you have good recommendations? I have a G six o two. If you can see that. Oh, this is fine. That's mine. A G six o two Logitech. A little bit mucky. I need to, and like all my stuff, I've, I've got a lot of because we've had work done here. There is dust everywhere, and I've got to dust everything before I uh, 
uh, before I uh, get the new uh, studio set up. I'm really looking forward to my monitor setup. My mon monitor setup is a single uh, single stand attached to the desk that holds three monitors. I will be able to have so much space underneath it. It's ridiculous. And I'm looking forward to going back to a three monitor setup. Well, there are certain aspects of this that um, it's, it's quite intra and you know I'm, I'm quite pleased that I've got into with this. Right. Same as your setup. It's a good setup, GT. It's a good setup. And welcome along, GT, by the way. Hey, Fabus, you welcome along. We've been looking at Triple Try and a few monitors. Uh, the bases take up a lot. And the one I've got, so I wanted to avoid, because I like to have my desk against the wall. I wanted to avoid one that, uh, that I had to clamp to the back. So it actually is one I drill a hole through the desk, and it clamps either side of the desk. And so, as a result, it's pretty strong. Uh, and and has next to zero footprint. It is fantastic for that. Yeah, there we go. Wow, they still took another, what is that, nearly 5,000 litres. Great thing about this tank is that we'll be able to, um, be able to do milk with it as well. So, we'll be able to empty it out. Uh, doing uh, water for the for the cows uh, at one morning and then use it for the milk and then finish off doing the cows. The desk is fitted to the wall so something like that wouldn't work. Yeah, exactly. He, uh, he don't dust his... It might just... What? Right, and oh yeah, we can detach this can't we? Uh, and it's done anyway. Right, let's get our weight back on the back and we need to go and do some feeding. We've not yet got any um not got any uh maze silage yet or any WCS. I might use the WCS first, but I might go and sell the WCS. Uh, can you empty it though if water is in it? Uh, yes, you can force to dump it. Yeah. Hey, GB body, welcome along, my friend. How are you doing? And thank you for the host. Right. Uh, so uh, they could do with clover silage. Uh, yeah, they need. Yeah, clover silage. We'll give them one of these brown bales. I'm not going to give them any hay because they don't need a lot of that. Uh, and they need some uh, maize silage. So we can go and we can probably go and get uh, sorry, some fresh maize. So we can probably go and get that. I'm good, thank you, GB. It's been a long day today. Lots going on. Uh, lots that I've... Uh, when is best? Best. Right, I'm still loving it. Yeah. Uh, oh. There we go. Finally got the farm on six ashes. Very pleased with that. Good. Oh wow, that was perfect. Uh, right. So we need. Yeah, we now need to address the straw situation. And to do that, I think we're gonna we're gonna go and sell these male chickens first. Bessie Beneath, Bessie Beneath is Dusty Dave, W. Keen. And hopefully when this, uh, this version of the map clears, Bessie will come to uh, console as well. Hello, UCCA replays. Welcome along. And thank you for the follow as well. Welcome to the BFN. Right, which tractor should we use for this? We'll use this. We'll use the old girl because she's approaching approaching 100 hours. 
Although, actually, he's still got 91. But it's still our carting tractor for now. Thank you for the host, uh, UCAA, UCCA replays as well. You are awesome. I'm doing well, thank you. It's as I said, it's been a long day, a hell of a, a hell of an FSL this afternoon. I could have, I could have asked for a better FSL final than we had today. Shooter Cam one two three, welcome along. Thank you for the follow and welcome to the event. Rue is fine. Okay. I'm, I'm massacring names here on Twitch all the time. I apologise. Uh, how... See how you're putting the bail down like that. Uh, will it be the same console? I would guess so. Oh, I will say, I'll tell you guys something. Tomorrow, over on the YouTube channel, I have a map first look. And I not only have a map first look, but the version of the map I'm looking at is the console version of the map. So the PC version of it when it's released will be slightly different. And the version I'm doing the first look at tomorrow is the version that will be released for console. It's a surprise, Dash. Yeah, West Newton isn't is TPs either. What's the map? Oh, you'll have to find out tomorrow. It is a map that has not yet been released though. I will tell you that. And then I think I'm going to have to have a look at um, uh, Green Bale's new map. So, let's load this. We want all the male chickens that aren't roosters. I've got a lot of male chickens. I don't really care how much money I get for these because the chickens aren't worth that much money. And you can see they're worth like two pound each. But we need to we need to get our chickens down from 200. And the whole idea was to breed the chickens up so that our egg production went up. But we got a ridiculous number of chickens. Oh no, that's female. Where'd that one go? There we go. Not that one. Uh, I'm not getting the new T7 today. We need to raise a little bit more money to do that. And I want to get the field first as well. And we could just end up... Right, those are my two boosters, so we'll leave those well alone. These are all female. Oh, no, that was a female that went in, wasn't it? Yeah. That one's a male, that one's a male, that one's a male. Some of these males have been kicking around for a while. Nearly a year old, some of them. I don't want male chickens. And we're making money with every single one, pretty much. I don't know how many will actually fit in this trailer. Wow, nearly half our nearly half our chickens are male, which makes sense. If you got a 50-50 split. There we go. 119. No male chickens left. Oh no there uh, no there isn't roosters. Which we want. Basically keep the roosters until they die off. Oh wow, that's nearly a full trailer. Very nearly a full trailer. Right, uh, where is our animal? Animal dealer is there, okay. 
Uh, okay. Frame rate delimit uh, frame limiter is off. It will make zero difference. Look, 20 FPS, 23 FPS. So that's with it off. That's with it on. Yeah, you mean this? That's the developer console. I have, uh, yeah, I can turn it on and off. It, it doesn't, it makes no difference. Yeah, the, the PC is not up to the job. We will be, so by the end of the week, I will be back onto my dual PC setup and this should no longer be an issue. Hopefully. And in the new year, I'm looking at building a new gaming PC. And that, that should then make it not an issue at all, which will be even better. You only have a GT710? Oh, I have a... I have, well, I have a... My, my PC... Uh, my PC is not performing well because... I am I am recording. I am streaming, and I am uh, I'm recording, streaming, and playing the game on it. And it's yeah, it doesn't yeah, doesn't like it. But still, I mind you, twenty three, twenty four FPS is good for me on here normally with this setup. I had, I am the interesting thing is on six ashes, I get 60 FPS while I'm recording, which is just, I had to say GB, that is a real testament to that map, because, yeah, I'm getting 60 FPS pretty much constantly. And we are knocking on the door of 30 FPS here at the map, so that's good. So yeah, well optimized map, GB. Well optimized map. Right, this whole area here should be. Yep, there we go. So these chickens would cost to buy. These are white leghorns. Five pounds to buy. And <laughs> we're selling them at two. But they are they are breeding chickens, so. Instead of fattening chickens. Although we're getting nearly... We're getting nearly £5 for most of them. We're like £4 for most. But we're only going to make a couple of hundred. Or maybe maybe even make... Oh, no. No, no, no. Move you back. Yeah, £300! Unexpected £300. This is this is why breeding chickens in farms is pointless. Do not breed chickens in seasons. It's it is absolutely pointless. Top of the farm life is just uh, proposed to a Joanna today, and there's a holiday away. And ah, oh, that's wonderful. Congratulations to them and all the best. Uh, right, we have 181,000. We do have enough. How much is this tractor worth? My 7840 is worth 40,000 pounds. We could upgrade to the T7 tonight. We actually could. We have the money. We'd have to borrow the money to get the field if we did that. But we've got money coming in. The honey is selling. So it's really very, very tempting. Dark Star Simulation, welcome along. Send me a DM with Discord. Okay, I'll go and have a look at it after this. Your PC does that if you're just playing FS19 streaming and having Spotify on. And... Yeah, I do fiddle around with the bitrate. I ended up going back to, to 5,000 5, kbps. But actually, it's actually sitting at around 4.5 at the moment. Uh, when I go back to my other PC, I'll be able to go probably go back to 6, I think. Um, and just get a, a better bitrate. And I'll be able to, should be able to record higher quality as well. Uh, when I go back to my PC. Right. So. Uh, no. 
Uh, actually... No, no, no. We'll drop this trailer off and bring this tractor back before we go and buy something new. But yes, I think it's time to say goodbye to our 7840. Upgrade our tractor and hopefully get something that we can blast bales with as well. Oxygen David, look. Yes, Oxygen's new map does look absolutely incredible. Um, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of, uh, of um, that map as well. One of the first maps I played in FS15 was just, you know, so cool. So it's sad to get rid of Pratt. It is, but, we, you know, she's looking a bit battered, a bit old. Um, we, we're looking to do an upgrade. We've still got the T-Dub kicking around. I mean, we could... That's a good point. Well, the TW35 is only worth 20,000. Wow. Yeah, but I do want to get a new T7 on here. So, uh, and then we need to up the horsepower. This is, uh, I think this is 100. What is the horsepower on this? Keep switching over to here. So yeah, we've only got 100 horsepower on this and we're looking to up to one that's got 175. So it's a good trade. It is a very good trade for us. We are actually able to run the, interestingly able to run the farm now though, without actually doing any grass work. We'd need to buy the, uh, because we've got to buy the clover silage in anyway. Maybe. It wouldn't be this one though. You know, 92 hours on it. Uh, and looking good. But we need something a little bit more uh, a little bit more um, Frozone32 thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFM. Uh, we need to go and get another piece of equipment as well. So we might as well do this. Kill two birds with one stone. I am going to buy the new tractor before I sell this one because uh, for my uh for my thumbnail, I want a picture of them together. And I can't do that if I'm... Um, if I've sold this one first. Hello, Evan J. Hart. What have I done this stream? So far, we've sold all those male chickens we had kicking about. Uh, we're heading down here now to, uh, to switch. And we're going to go and buy ourselves a nice new T7. Do an upgrade on the farm. Close one, two, three, four. Welcome along. So, jump out. Turn her off. So it's under medium tractors, and it's this one here. New Holland T7. Now, what we want, things I absolutely want on here. are a nice pair of Michelin tires, which those are quite cool. Uh, taking off the mud guards. How much is the beacon? Beacon art bar adds 450. We want the hydraulics on the front. The strobes add 200. We need to bring the price down a little bit, we can. Close, one, two, three, four. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFM. Uh, we'll leave it with the standard exhaust. We don't need the CV aerials. Um, ooh, ooh. We can save ourselves a little bit of money if it's on a 18, 17. Uh, if we get it on a, a well, we get on an 18 plate. 
Uh, hey, Miller Gaming, welcome along. Thank you for the host. You are awesome. I want the floor mats. Don't want the air horns. Uh, without GPS, I want GPS. I just want the standard New Holland one, though. Body is standard. Oh, yeah, we want the Union Jack body on it. Because why don't I get a garish T7? Either the Union Jack, the Scottish flag, or the Blue Power, or the... Yeah. No. I'm going Union Jack on this. Uh... Well, we might get rid of the T-Dub, to be honest, Evan. I mean, this, this will cover uh, both those tractors. We might get rid of the T-Dub. I'm very tempted. Because um, that will pay for the GPS on this. Because the GPS throws this up to 169,500. Plus the extra 3,000 to get it up to the 170 horsepower we need. Or 100, yeah, 175 horsepower we need. So we're at 172.50. We don't want a front loader attached on it. Yeah, that is the tractor I want. Now, I can drop it to 172,000 if I do it, if I drop the beacon bar, but I think we'll go with that. Nope, stream is still here. I don't think I need to, no, I don't think I need that strobe. I don't think I need that strobe, and I don't think I need those strobes either. I think we can go with that. 171,850. Hey, Daedra Engaged. Welcome along. Where can you get this mod? Um, JCB, is this available in general? Uh, I don't want the mud guards. We can always put the mud guards on if it looks really bad, but yeah, I, I prefer it without mud guards. Those rear wheels look small. Well, the... Nah, actually, we could go with the larger ones. There's no difference in price. They are small, but we're not... Well, let's go with the larger wheels, then. Yeah, let's go with that. So, buy her. Uh... Oh, that's a lot of money we just spent. There it is, though. Let's get ourselves... Where is the sun? See, the sun is there. Before we sell off this one. Oh yeah. Farm equipment is not cheap. Oh. Sounds nice. I think we might have to sell the Tito. Yeah, it's gonna be like that, isn't it? Right, bye bye old girl. Your time has come. We'll get more than 40,000 for it as well, which is good. Right, if we repair this, so 49,949, we repair it for 131, and we get over 50,000 for it as well. Yes, I want to sell it. There we go. Uh, no, we don't need mowers today. Uh, no, only uh, only 90, uh, only 92 days to, on that tractor. Uh, right, so the other thing we need is we need something to uh, blow some bales. Uh, 
Uh, nope, animals. So, what are our choices? So we can get the primal for 25,000 or we can get the big confort, which is very tempting. I just think that's going to be a pain in the ass to load there. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to have to be the standard primal. I think I, I can't justify the other one. I just can't. Not not with the bales that we have. So uh, let's get this. And um, I'm going to lease this. Because it's only 250 per day. And the amount of time it's going to take us to get to use this for an hour is going to be forever. And no, I can't justify the 25,000. So we'll lease that. And then the other thing I want is a nice set of weights for our tractor. Now we should have some New Holland weights around here. That's Ford. That's New Holland. I thought I had some New Holland weights. Yeah, there we go. New Holland weights. But I, yeah, I need it every day, but I, I, at that price, so is that, so that, that blower, that straw blower is 25,000. So even if it costs me 250 pound a day, and I'm using it for minutes every day, at 250 pound a day, that is a hundred days before I spend the same amount of money as if I bought it. It's not worth it. It's maybe, it maybe goes down as low as, we may end up going down as low as 90 days once you factor in those, but it's not, it's not something like this. So this is where leasing comes in really useful. If you are using something, for a few minutes each day, lease it. Don't buy it, especially if it's something you're not going to look to customize. Because yeah, it's just it's really, really not worth it. It's why I. It's why I say to normally buy tractors and lease most of your remaining equipment, especially if the price is cheap on a daily basis to lease it. It's a great way to make your money go a long way on uh, Start From Scratch. The Stan the Man! Hey, Stan the Man! Do I have you on here? I thought I did. I don't, so we need to give you a... How was the car seat? The car seat was fantastic. Thank you, Stan. Oh, why do you have such a wonderfully difficult name to copy? There we go. Go check out Stan the Man. He's awesome. You might know him on YouTube as the guy who does some phenomenally awesome time lapse videos. Giveaway time. Oh, wow. We've got 81 viewers. We do. It is giveaway time. I've missed that because we've had, we've had so many streams with that one. So, a ticket draw for entering the giveaway. Later, Evan J. Hart. Thanks for joining us. Oof. Yeah. How are you doing, Stan? Right. Uh, we're going to go fill this up with some straw. Now, I should be able to... The straw bales that we've got here, I should be able to get three of those in. What is that? I haven't had a good look around these. Oh, I like that floor mat. I'm already crashing this. I do like that floor mat, and I like these seats. And this is a, this is a spectacularly detailed mod. Does this have? No, I don't think this has open doors on it. Oh no, it does. Oh, it's one of those ones. No, no, wrong door. <laughs> 
I don't think it has open doors on it. The right tire from the cab looks wider than the one on the... No, that's because it's hidden by a little bit of uh, stuff. Um, Cabs Farmer, thank you for the host. You are awesome. How do you get into the giveaway? Exclamation mark, enter. Uh, if you put exclamation mark, enter, you will get the most amount of tickets. Uh, no, you'll get a one entry. Uh, enter space, exclamation mark, enter space, max will get you the most tickets you can get. An exclamation mark, enter, uh, followed by a number. Uh, up to 10 will enter that many tickets if you have the groats to enter them. It has, oh, it has simple IC. I don't have that on here. I have had problems with simple IC, so that's fine. I just won't use it. Do I have head tracking? I own head tracking. I have not enabled it. I'm very tempted to, actually, though. When I when I get into the new setup, I'm very tempted to get head tracking set up. That's all right, Rue. We might wash this after this. We definitely need to give this a wash. Right, I think we can get three in here, as I said. Also, I need to move that track to four. Yeah, this will be our main karting tractor now as well. I'm very, I'm, I am tempted to get rid of the T-Dub and just run with this. We do want to replace this. How much is this worth? I know what I want to replace it with, but it's not out yet. 32,000. Okay. That's the thing. This is cheap. And it cost me another 50,000, 60,000 to replace this. I don't want to at the moment. Spend the extra cash. Oh, wow, these are, these are, we've got not complete fails by any stretch of imagination. Oh, really? Okay, fine. There we go. No, do not come. Okay, you can come with and we'll put you on the top. Uh, watching uh, breaking out tea across the... Oh, what? Uh, the FSL. The FSL was amazing. What an end. What an absolutely incredible end to the, the second year of the FSL. And, uh, and our first world champions as well. Really had to fight for it. Sell the T-Dub and then when you have the money, get an old shape T6. Do I have the old shape T6 enabled in here? Don't know if I do or I don't. I don't, yeah, I don't have the old tape T6. Tempted to buy a Vultra. Uh, I don't think I think have the new tape. And I've got the T5. Yeah, highest I can go with that is... Uh, you could get the T5 on him. Get the T5 and get rid of the 7810 as well and modernise everything. Which, considering I was praised for using my old stuff, but the old stuff when I started the stream. Uh, John Dick, yeah. I feel bad, a little bit bad for John Dick. Right, that's got... That's sort of got those in there. Not as much in there as... Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Stop that. I need to go and wash that in a bit.
There's two little small JDs like a 163. Oh, 1630. Yeah, the John Deere Grimma matches were amazing. But the final was incredible. Oh, the Valtra G. Yeah, that's a tempting tractor. I think we might get that somewhere else, though, JCB. Right, where do we... There we go. Great straw here. There we go. Yeah, these are small bales as well. Oh, wow. That I like. That got the first bale dropped to the second automatically and kept unloading it. I've not had that happen before. Oh, I didn't quite catch it for third. Right, so where does this lead our... Okay, we are going to need another load of this. Who won the FSL? Trollerborg. Uh, Trollerborg won it. Uh, it was a hard-fought final, and I felt so sorry for Grimmer at the end of it. Uh, they have come. So Trollerborg, uh, rightly, absolutely, you know, have won all season. They had like a 90% win rate, um, and they won. Um, they won that, and uh, uh, they won that much. Uh, but Grimmer gave them a heck of a fight. Heck, had it gone to best of three. It would have been Grimmer. Grimmer would have taken it. Uh, but as it was, uh, best of five, uh, Trelleborg had uh, one hell of a comeback. And that final game, when we thought it had all been even, and then we discovered that the, that uh, there had been a, uh, a bail run. Uh, sorry, a, a bailer uh, streak by, uh, by Trelleborg. I just... I felt for them so much. Bro, did I just, I just hit something. Hiding in the grass. I'll have to move that in a minute. John Deere 6290, but it's more costly and bigger than, yeah. Right, let's fill this up again. And then we'll leave this, we'll bring this back up here and leave this here and we'll give this a wash. Oh man, does this load it need a wash. Oh, as uh, that's that second to last match when uh, when when it didn't hit a rush, but uh, but Trelleborg got both a um, got both a harvester and a baler streak. I've never seen that. Never seen that happen. Um, and then on top of that, you just you just watch Grimmer's face that whole match, and you go, "I feel so sorry for you guys. You're you're having to play for 15 minutes at the biggest disadvantage I've ever seen any team play." Just put the mud guards on it. Ah, I prefer it now. Let's see if we can get this in nice and flat and in the right place. Nope, nope, nope. Too far. Okay. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Right, this can go back. Probably want to get start getting ready for seeding as well today. I like it without the mud. Yeah. Maybe that's because I'm so used to tractors without mud guards. Uh, this is not the awesome Sandy Bay. This is Bessie beneath Ollie. Uh, I have not changed that command because Sandy Bay should be back this weekend for the multiplayer. We might actually get those potatoes finished finally on Sandy Bay. After the last... I need to have a look at what VODs I've still got to put up for Sandy Bay. Because, uh, yeah, we need, to, we need to get those potatoes sorted. Uh, we're going to be doing Sandy Bay for about another month or so. Uh, and, then, uh, and then we're going to be heading over to... Um, heading over to the brand new map 
from the uh, upcoming Alpine farming DLC. And we're going to do the multiplayer on that. And it's going to be a really cut down multiplayer. I have washed the JCB because the JCB needs washing. We've needed to wash it for a while. Well, it's been a couple of months since we've done Sandy Base, so. You know, it's been a couple of months since I had a studio. <laughs> it was meant to be a quick thing, and then they ripped walls out. Uh, one of my lovers uh, says, well, yes. Why, why we don't have any modern JCB telehandlers as standard in this game, I do not know. Why have I bought another T7? Because we needed to replace our 7840 and we needed something with a little more oomph. Uh, and this is a modern T7. So this is a more modern one than we had. We got more, we got more. Oh, no more capacity, okay. So they take 10,000 litres. And also, T7s are my favourite modern tractors, so... Yeah, if I have the opportunity to have two of them, I'm going to have two of them. You know? And this one is just nicely customizable as well. Uh, but this has uh, nearly 100 horsepower less than our other one. Our other one is a, a bigger beast. Ah, uh, we've got... Yeah, but our bales are smaller, Matty. Not unusual for farms to have multiples of the same equipment. Yeah, absolutely. And we had we had a couple of six, uh, 76 tens on my dad's farm. Sort of mid-sized tractor stuff. Wouldn't surprise me if our next purchase was uh, was maybe a T5, just to sort of do that mid-range stuff. And um, and then lose the 7810 and the uh, or maybe a T6 as someone was suggesting. Now, someone said they were medium tractors. Well, there's the modern T6. So that's the one that comes in this. So that is 102,000. Have I got the old shape? That's the old shape T7. No, I've not got the old shape T6 here. I just want to move this. They also have massive focuses in 3080 from when they were a massive farm. I remember having a ride in the early 90s. Nice. I should get a fast track 4160. 
Yeah. We're going the NH way here. So I might do that on a different farm. With a brand new quickie loader. Right, so what do we need to do next? Get this into the shed. I have to move the tractors around a little bit. We've got, we've got the other T7 in the wrong place. It shouldn't be part where it is. Yeah, so this is a yeah, this is a two twenty. And then we got our two older Fords, the TW twenty five and the seventy eight ten. Quickie loader from the quickie market. Oh, guilt. Granddad uses two Vultures as his main tractors with some old Massies and David Browns. We have, yeah, I have uh, hopefully something cool happening soon. We're waiting. Ian's, Ian's DBs are coming soon. I don't think those weights are out on console. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think they are either. Amazing. This is so. This is the short wheel base. This is a this is a physically bigger tractor. Interestingly enough. Uh, right. So animals. Uh, oh yeah, we need fresh maize. So that is this. Any planting done at all? I'm not sure we managed to plant any crops. Uh, four is fertile. No. So we all. Uh, I know. I don't think we can do lime on our on frozen ground. So yeah, all of our fields need doing. Uh, Twenty-four needs plowing. So we've got to plow twenty-four. We've got to lime twenty-three, and we've got to lime. Oh, no, we haven't got a line 23. Oh, 23 is ploughed. Okay. So, we've got a plough 24, and we've got a line 6 and 9 again this year. Um, so, that's all good. And it's still, the ground is still 1 degree, so... And we'll line the whole of those fields, because uh, otherwise we'll just end up with patches. In Turn that round. No, I didn't get I didn't get the wheat in. We we got close, but we didn't actually get it in the ground. It's a it's a pity the ground is frozen because I really want to spread some uh, slurry. No, we wanted to get we, we were trying to get all of the uh we're trying to get it um We were trying to get the field uh, fertilised first. And we didn't quite get it fertilised in time uh, in order to get it uh, seeded as well. And it would have been too cold for it to germinate. So we'd have probably lost that crop if we'd have, uh, if we'd have put that in. Uh, I do want to get both the wheat and the canola in as quickly as possible. Uh, followed by the barley. I think we're basically... As soon as we can plant, we're going to throw as much in the ground as we can. Uh, yes, I think it does. How many hours do I have on this map? So we're on to year two. 
Our hours on this map are 57, so nearly 60 hours. By the end of tonight, we'll probably have about 60 hours on this map. This is definitely a colder start to spring than the last, uh, the last one was. There we go. Wow, they took all of it. Oh, wow. That's a first. They don't normally take all of that, so that's good. Uh, let's get this in there as well. If you, uh, small trick, if you uh, clean this up on a very regular basis, you end up generating WCS. But snow. Uh, don't want snow on the ground in here. It must have got too close to the snow to... So, there we go. We'll get the rest of the snow out of here, and that won't happen again then. There we go. Just dump that over here. Oh, and we've got our first manure as well. Fantastic. Or snow, yeah. Um, how you doing? Have, hey, Massey Lee Gaming Zone. Uh, I have not seen that, no. Uh, Stop about. Uh, the longest held on the map was 59.6 hours, and then your FS coffee broke due to a mod conflict. Youch. That's why I have so many backups. Uh, so we're halfway there. So next game day, about midday ish, we should be able to. to Feed them, may, uh, feed them silage, and we want to be careful. We don't want to max out the silage, otherwise we won't be able to clean them properly. Came out today. We'll like it. I'll link. Okay, um, drop it in my Discord. There's a, a recommended mod table. Uh, recommended mod in Discord. We already have another thing of eggs. Another case of eggs is ready. There we go. That one. Why is when I turn? Try to walk to my little egg shack. Uh, one off farming fluke. Okay. There we go. That's another one of those in there. Go and close the gate before we get any runaway chickens. There we go. How's my week been? My week's not been too bad. Uh, I haven't stopped all week because, of course, I was uh, I was doing FSL for many hours yesterday and today. Uh, and, uh, and, yeah, so I haven't had, really had a day off. Where am I going with this? I know where I'm going with that. I want to take that back to the shed. Okay. Right, so then this belongs over here. With our harvesters. Our two cracking at New Holland harvesters. We are not upgrading anytime soon because, yeah, we don't have the money to upgrade those. Right, so. Uh, what's the honey situation? I think, we, I think we need to generally go up to the shop and uh, grab some um, supplies. 
thing is, I need to uh, I need to go and get the crate we've got up at the farm shop. And uh, so that we can refill that. Uh, is Mother Farming? Yeah, I, I've read that. How's your studio coming along? It's nearly there. I was expecting to be there this weekend, but it wasn't. An anonymous cheerer. Thank you very much for the 10 bit. Uh, 10 bit cheer. You are awesome. Can you actually, you can actually cheer anonymously. Oh, very cool. Let's get this down here. Here's a lovely landy. I do like this landy. And it's a, and it's a right hand drive as well. Which the other ones that I've got. So I've got other ones in here. These ones. I like these. But they're left hand drive. Why are they left hand drive? Who puts a Land Rover in game and makes it left hand drive? Vivio Concrete, thank you very much for the... Nine bitch here, you are awesome. Let's take this one. Oh no, no, I got the wrong place. Got into the wrong place. It's amazing on these streams how much we have to do on each game day. Even when even when we can't work the land, we still have a lot of work to do. We should have some, um... Whoa, Simon101! Thank you for the 50 pitch here. You are awesome. Uh, did you know there's a right-hand driver truck in the world? Is there? Oh, yes. Excellent, Paul. Right, do we have an empty... We've got lots of honey cookies. No, it's still not empty. It's still selling that first crate. We have a backup of the honey. <laughs> we might have to open another farm shop somewhere because we're not selling this honey quick enough. We can only get so much through. And yeah, this is why I want to get the fruit tree stuff in here. But yeah, look at this. So selling honey... can only take so much honey at once. No. Yeah. But we've not got any cherries or plums or anything like that. So we need to get that. I don't know if there's any way to upgrade this. Yeah, it's it sells it sells one litre per hour. Been watching DJ as you just mentioned. Yes. Okay. Which is why it's not worth having more than one thing of uh, more than one hive. Because as you can see, we're not getting through. In fact, it is it is doing it from that second box. Okay, so if that second box drops to halfway, oh no, that's done another one. Yeah. Ooh, actually. No, it's still. We move these about, we'll eventually end up with an empty box. But not yet, by the looks of things. Yeah, 
Yeah. But we can't. I'm not going to buy any more jars until we've got some. Uh, until we've got an empty box. Thank you, uh, OG Lock Nine, for the uh, for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. So yeah, there's uh, four more in there that need to, to go, and then we'll uh, and then we'll have a crate. So yeah, can't do anything with that. Then we'll take this down the shop then and get some seeds. Hello, Mantas. Uh, Tiger, welcome along. Mant. Mant. Mant Tiger, welcome along. Uh, what is full? Yes. What is full on that pallet? Yeah, one is full and the other has four left. One is full with empties? Uh, what? There shouldn't be any empties on that. The shop doesn't put empties out. Right, let's go back and double check that. Let's go have a look. We got the time. Those are all full. Those are all full. Those are all full. They shouldn't be. Uh, the only way that we would have an empty set of jars here. No, that's full of honey. The only way we'd have an empty set of jars would be if I'd put an empty set of jars in here. No, those are all full. Behind that, okay. No, that's full. There are no empty jars in here. Whoa! You've made me explode the jars everywhere. Yeah, I think I think it's because they show not zero liters, but they are all full. Yeah, they. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, that is showing eight liters. Ah, what's showing zero liters is the box. It's the box showing zero liters. The jars. Ah, uh, yeah, it's the box. That's what you've seen. Makes sense, that. It's, yeah, the, it's, it's sensing the box, not the jars. <laughs> 
Noted, JCB. Noted. There we go. Time for some more coke. ASMR time, guys. ASMR as the drink, the coke goes in. That's going to disappear with the new, um, the new thing. Because I won't be having the coke next to my mic. Actually, the mic. I'm hoping to have the mic about here. Uh, Liam Forrest, thank you very much for subscribing over on YouTube. Welcome to the BFN. You subscriber. Uh, oh, buying seeds. Yes, I am. I'm buying seeds, aren't I? Oh, look at that. We have melted snow. That was sudden. Uh, right, let's head back. I might increase the FPS or might not. Wow, that looks so different now. Right, we need to turn around. Well, actually, I want to go and check what seeds I've got first. Uh, I think we basically need seeds for almost everything that I have. But I think we might have a couple of pallets that have multiples. Right, here we go. So, sunflowers, uh, we've got a few. Sugar beet, we've got a few. Maize, we've got a few. Barley, we've got very little. And canola, so yeah. I think we probably need to eat seeds and oceans. Canola, we might be alright. Barley, we need. Maize, I think we're alright. Sugar beet. What's, what's sugar beet follow? Corn. Uh, okay, we're going to need we're probably... Then we might have to buy this stuff as we need it, to be honest. Yeah, I think that's that's probably the better way to go. Buy that stuff as we need it. Uh, minus one. I don't think there are any contracts. Cultivating, fertilizing, sowing, sowing. Yeah, nothing is... I've got a transporting contract. Buy a crate to beach just... Yeah, we could do. I think that might be the best way to go. How many we can fit on this trailer, though, is a good question. Oh, has he? Uh, JCB, if you send me the link to that, that'd be awesome. I want that very much. I have high hopes for that. I'll take the sides off this because we won't be able to load it with the sides on. Friday's new series, I'm going to use a vehicle that I've been itching to use. Uh, it's just going to work wonders for, for forestry. Because I'm doing Forestry Friday again. And I'm very excited about it. Because I love doing the forestry stuff. Customize. Yeah. Yep. Customize that. Yes. Now we can get some seeds on here. Nice flat area. Right, uh, pallets. We want some wheat seed. 
some barley seeds. Okay. Uh, wheat seed, barley seed, uh, canola seed, yes. Uh, not soybean, not ill seed radish, not grass, uh, maize seed. Uh, not potatoes, sugar beet seed. You forgot his name. I will need fertile herbicide, but I'm not going to worry. Uh, we, yeah, we need to pick up some... Wow, sunflowers are expensive. Right, so that's six pallets to fill in. Then we might have to do... Yeah, we might have to do two trips for this. Nidmore 12 thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. Band set. thank you. Yeah, I want that mod. That mod is going to be very, very useful. This is never going to work. RJ, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. Yes, this mod is going to be on the server, Realistic Cedar. So we're going to have a few Realism mods. Um, we're going to have a couple of uh, Quality of Life mods. That is a lot of weight on the trailer, yeah. As I said, I think we're going to have to do two road runs because that's not... Don't think we're going to get all of these on here. Uh, is a low load of quality of life mod? Um, no, we no equipment mods at all. So now I'm not doing uh, I'm not doing any equipment. I'm doing maybe a dozen script mods. That's it. Anything uh, uh, anything equipment wise either has to come from the base game or from uh, from DLC. Uh, yeah, or uh, or one of the um, convertible. Uh, uh, there's there's um, there are other smaller trailers that you can move stuff with. 
Oh, what? The, um, the low load? Yeah. No. Yeah, this is going to take two trips. So we might get some fertilizer. A couple of pallets of fertilizer when we come back as well. You can see Mom. Bring quad track with you to get and stuff. Quad track? I'm not putting that much money into it. If you'd done the four on the flatbeds and the other two on top of the mid, yeah, I prob probably could have, but this is struggling with this, so. That over. We'll get onto the, we'll get off the main road and have a look at the farm. But uh, yeah, the only low loaders that are available base game is that. So yeah, it have to use the gold hopper to move stuff about. <laughs> There is no other low loader. What I was talking about was um, this. But of course, that's not a low loader. And we might have a look at having uh, adding in a low loader. So how many will work on the farm? We're probably going to limit the server to about six, I think. Hey, GD, welcome along. How you doing, my friend? Let you have a low loader. Oh, we really need to... Yeah, we are going to get the uh, plough into that. I'm good, thank you, Judy. Guys, go check out Gamer Dragon. He is awesome. If you aren't following Gamer Dragon, what are you doing? Yeah, one handed with no hand on the mouse. <laughs> right, uh, let's have a no, no, no. Get rid of this, and we want to go and get pallet forks. This is where I start making a mess. Oh, we want to look at replacing the baler. I'll go replace the baler later, but yeah, we need to replace our baler. I is not happy with the performance of the uh, baler we have on here. But I think if I think is if I want to replace with a new Holland. Wow, really? None of those. Are... Yeah, you see that? It's nice, but it's not what I want anymore. And I don't have a new Holland Baylor here, which annoys me. Um, but yeah, looking at the kit, we're looking at a hundred thousand to replace our Baylor from seventeen thousand, which is not good.
But unfortunately, our Baylor isn't quite what we're after. We can get away with it for the most part. It is just... Uh, it is just the uh, straw that we need it for. What's wrong with the baler? It has... Um, the bales are small, so they're not standard size bales. So we can't use it for contracts because we can't wrap the bales. Uh, so there's that. Uh, we... Uh, it is... Yeah, it's... it's so it's too small there. It, it doesn't function properly. I don't want to have to buy molasses for it. Even though we've, we've got tons of molasses now. Um, but I don't want to have to buy a molasses for it. And, and it always requires it. It also always requires uh, water. Whether you've got that all that functionality turned off. Um, it still has those issues as well. So uh, yeah. What, for the, for the New Holland? Yowch. Uh, what have we got in here? Sunflower seeds. Uh, where am I going to do this? I've got a gap here. So this goes in this gap. Remember what I didn't like about these. Oh, maybe it's maybe just because the stuff's malfunctioning on this. Normally love 4D's modding, 4D modding's mods, but that that failure has never worked for me properly. Sunflowers, there we go. Yes, 4D, 4D modding stuff is normally great. I don't know if it's interference from another mod or something, but it's, yeah, it's just, it's not working properly. It's it's built around the um, Straw Harvest DLC, and it just, it just doesn't seem to have the Straw Harvest stuff working properly, for whatever reason. Be interesting, actually, to try one of the Straw Harvest bailers and see if it's, uh, see if we have the same problem. Actually, that would be another prime possibility to hire. So how much does that cost to hire? So that's 5,000 to lease with 1,000 pounds per day. To lease 258 horsepower. I don't think we have the horsepower to run it anyway. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, I don't want to do that. That's just silly money. Yeah. All the square balers are too expensive. Come on, behave yourself. You. Put these right up against the wall. There we go. Uh, this one's going to have to go just in front here. Not have enough control without my real decision. Raffle. Right, what have we got here next? So next we've got the sugar beet.
See, this is going to now knock those sunflowers. Isn't it? Because I'm in here so badly. And I've knocked it at such a horrible, horrible angle. Oh, there we go. Oh, nearly got away with that. So nearly got away with that. Getting rather warm. we got next so it should be there and I got maize there let's see if we can get the sugar beet off seeing as that's the one we were mucking about with in the end slot where we did have the sunflowers without knocking all the sunflowers. There we go. Uh, hold half to use pallets above the use pallet. It will fill the one. Really? I think it will. Not of not of these, as far as I know. Later. Okay, we'll try that in a moment. We've got we've got another set of pallets to stack, so we'll try that in a moment. So what we got here is this the maze yes so that's what we want to stack next anyway so that's good news so you say if we take this pallet here and we hold it above this one here it will fill it Ooh. Oh wow, it will! Oh, that's awesome! Back from hell, thank you very much! That is fantastic! Oh, I like this mod even more now. That is just, that is utterly brilliant. How much longer have we got on the giveaway? On the ticket draw. Oh, ticket draws, closing time. It's time to close the ticket draw. It's giveaway time. Uh, I want to pause my game. I want to pause my game. There we go. Head over to this screen here and close the giveaway because it's time to give something away. And the person who has a free entry into this month's draw for a copy of Fall Guys is RedRust92. Please make yourself known in the chat. And if you are here, then I will enter you into the monthly giveaway. If you're not, we'll draw somebody else. Wow, a 12.96 chance, only 14 people entered. He is here. Congratulations, RedRust. 
Uh, you have a free entry into uh, this month's giveaway. Let's head just over this way. Here, unpause this. And that's how 19 is entered as well. So yeah, I'm giving away a copy of Fall Guys on Steam this month. It is on Steam. So get the maze seed off. I'm going to try and put that in here. Should go in this. That game is huge fun, that sounds. It really, really is. Especially if you, the thing I've discovered recently, of course, is playing it with friends is just brilliant. And uh, and yeah, going forward, that's that's how I'm gonna gonna do things around here. We are going to be uh, we're gonna be doing a uh, well, at the moment it's full guys, but we're gonna be doing a different game on Friday, uh, other than Farm Sim. So we'll do Farm Sim four nights a week. We'll play something else uh, the other night of the week on, on the Friday. And, uh, and yeah, looking to do two MPs and two regulars a week. Or two uh, realism experiments a week. Because I love the realism experiment. It is awesome. Right. What do we have here? So next up, we've got the barley and we've got the canola and we've just got the canola left. Okay. So that means we'll have the barley in the wheat here. And, uh, and yeah, we need a couple... So we'll have barley in the wheat, and we'll have a couple of things of fertilizer as well. We're still at one degree C on the ground, unfortunately. So we're not going to get any um, field work done today. Oh, hello, Hazmat, and thank you very much. That's very generous and very kind of you to say. I'm not sure I am. There was a. I will say that today there was an awful lot of love in the um, uh, in the Twitch stream for the FSL. It was really, really nice to see people saying thank you, and so yeah, huge thank you to everybody who's been watching the FSL uh, this season. Uh, it really means the world to me to be able to do that, and uh, and I wouldn't be able to do it if you guys weren't watching. So uh, yeah, thank you. Let's get this on to here. Let's drop this down. Right, and we need to go and refill. So. Go get our remaining pellets, uh, along with two things of fertilizer. And we're not going to get liquid fertilizer yet. We're not going to need that till summer, I don't think. Uh, you're the most realistic FS19 stream you watched. Oh, thank you, uh, Hazmat. Uh, do I use a wheel or a controller? At the moment, I use keyboard and mouse. I will be back. Uh, hopefully, at the end of the week, I'll be back to wheel and uh, and side panel. And I'm gonna hook up my brand new side panel that I uh, that I bought several months ago and haven't done. Uh, just uh, just gonna pick up furt at the moment and solid furt at the moment. But yeah, we are gonna need herbicide as well. That's true. So we'll pick those up closer to time. We might take the flatbed down here to do it as well. We might take a track from the flatbed to do those. Because we need a lot of fert and uh, we need a lot of fertilizer and herbicide liquid. 
Because it tends to end up doing a load of uh, fertilizer contracts. Right. We want a couple of pallets of fertilizer. What's in there? Oh, carrot pallet and potato, yeah. Uh, we want fertilizer, here we are. 2,500. For 2,400 litres. And then we've got wheat and barley here. To load on first. Uh, the new tractor is very nice. Uh, should do us well when we're uh, when we needing to use it. We'll see how it works out with uh, with how much work the T Dub gets. Because if the T Dub doesn't get a lot of work, then we'll uh, we'll sell that on as well. We're using the seventy eight ten daily though, so that definitely is uh, is not in line for replacement at the moment. Do I prefer plowing or harvesting? Harvesting every time. I love harvesting. My favourite thing to do in the game. Which is why, which is why uh, Realism Experiment gets me all the time because the harvesting is always so short. Because I always get so much rain and so much bad weather. Uh, Riley and Nando Seven, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFM. Ooh, that was close. Where's that going down? A lot of weight on the... Oh, that's a nice wind. Okay, there. Strap him. There you go. That's that strapped. Will I replace 7810? T4 would be great. Yeah, T4 would be a good little tractor there. We'll see how we go. I don't want to spend too much money. I mean, we still have a £220,000 loan uh, that, that I was hoping to pay off after the first year um, that I've now spent most of on a tractor. Uh, which, yeah, maybe wasn't the wisest decision, but I, th I think we needed uh, we needed a little more horsepower for when we do eventually get, uh, get to work with the, uh, with the grass stuff. I think we might have enough money for the mowers. Do we have enough money for the mowers? Uh, mowers, 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 mowers. Mowers. Oh yeah, we easily have enough money for the mowers. Ha! <laughs> Nice JCB. This why is it just get rid of the T Dubs? Well, yeah, I am tempted. We'll see how we go because obviously we need the T Dub plowing, the uh, the bigger T7 seeding, that then gives us nothing to do the grass work. With. As, uh, as it stands at the moment, we don't actually have anything that we can do. Um, uh, we don't even have a grass field. So I'm not too worried. It would be more uh, it would be more doing grass work as a um, put juice on it for change. Uh Darren Jack, thank you for subscribing over on YouTube. Welcome to the BFM. Off. And we can go and unload this back in our farm, and then we're all set up for doing our seeding uh, next time. Uh, I'm fully expecting the ground to be um, uh, to be cool enough to work next time, and if that's the case, with the I think our temperature is going up nicely. Oh, look, we've got some rain on the Friday. Uh, but, yeah, we've, we've got nice temperature going up. 
uh, we're looking at, so I think ground temperature, five degrees C we need for the wheat and the canola and the barley. Uh, and we might, uh, Friday's going to be a bit of a, yeah, we might have that. So if we get this, we get it planted next time, we might end up with uh, it germinating on day three. So that's good. That's that's really what we want. Get the wheat, the barley, and the canola uh, planted uh, next stream, and then we're uh, and then we're quitting. So it's going to be a lot of stuff to do. It's pretty much year one all over again. So long as it stays dry. That's that's going to be the trick. Please die. Well, okay, JCB, I will go and take a look at it. We're not, we're nowhere near setting that game up yet. Yeah, it's going to keep me very busy. This is the thing. The realism experiment sometimes has lots to do and sometimes has what's our busy work. Next stream is going to be, we have so much to do, we're not going to have enough time to do it. Kind of stream. Right, there we go. This one. Oh, come on. So, barley up next. So, we're going to move this pile of barley out of the way. Stays dry. Yeah. That's the thing. It never stays dry for me in seasons. Always end up with uh, rain. Rain in harvest. Is a pain in the butt. But it always happens. I think the no combine that was released on. Oh, new combine that was released on Mod Hub. Which new combine was that? Are you talking about the, um... Right. And down, and in. And up. And there is this barley. This is barley, yeah. So this is my barley seed. Down that goes. Back it out. And. I was in an H. That NH combine is. Uh, which one was that? Was that the one, the, the hillside one? I can't remember which one that was. This is a very nice stack of, uh, of seeds we've got. I think the reason why we've not got any wheat here is because the wheat is actually sitting in the cedar. If I'm correct. I don't think I can open this up. No, I think it has to be unfolded for me to have a look in that. I have a feeling the wheat's in that. Like, miniature version will only have half the size. Oh, really? I'll have to have a look at that.
So someone was doing an interesting version of the TX-36. Black with, um, uh, black with, uh, tracks. Which is odd for a TX-36. One more pallet. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> right, and then we just need to unload these two. Oh, he's open. Good. Yeah. That is our entire solid fertilizer, whereas we have some herbicide left. So 1500 and 1500. So, yeah, plenty of herbicide left. No fertilizer left. We used it all up last year. But I think we'll need the uh, flatbed to go and get that. We should be able to take all of this off in one go. Suddenly got it all on here in one go. into that. Done and dusted. Perfect. And we are, our spray shed should be closed and locked. I mean, that's a full thing. Take this back to our shed and get this shut up. Where's that? Nice, Jesse. Uh, Mark has been in here. <laughs> Plans to upgrade the tele Yes, I would like to upgrade the telehandler. And what I want to get is the uh, Merlot when it comes out. I want to replace this with the Merlot, but uh, we're nowhere near that yet. Uh, but to be perfectly honest, the, my issues with the telehandler and uh, my front loader and everything will disappear the moment I'm back with it using a joystick. So I'm not too worried about replacing that. Be good, thank you very much, uh, Desi. Yeah, it was my wife's uh, my wife and I's anniversary on uh, Friday, which is why I wasn't about. DJ Finchio, this is not Sandy Bay, this is Bessie Beneath by uh, the fantastic uh, Mr. Dusty Dave. I'm going to clean this trailer. I've washed the landy, I haven't washed the trailer. Like, <laughs> yes. There we go. Right. I'm going to change that map command just in time for everybody on Saturday night to use it. And uh, I think I might I might change it to map and uh, uh, map RE for realism experiment and map um, uh, and uh, map uh, MP. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take a while to bring that. What machine do? What machinery do I have? Uh, I have four tractors, uh, two T7s, uh, a T7 220, in an older version, and a T7 190 newer version. Uh, we got the John Deere, uh, the the little um, Gator 
We've got Miss Landy in the trailer. We've got uh, JCB Telehandler. We've got a TX36 Combine. Uh, we've got a, an S2200 New Holland Forage Harvester. Is there anything? There's nothing else I need to. Yeah. See this. I need to replace this. That's going to have to be replaced. Otherwise, things are pretty good, I think. Yeah, I think our animals are good for today. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, pretty much. We have to do some stuff with the chickens next time, but uh, that's to be expected. That is a good question. Ah, there we go. Trollerborg TM1000, so it'll be, uh, it'll be our smaller one of those. I don't think the Michelin's, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to put the Trellerborg wheels on. Oh, the Mellow is better, yeah. So, yeah, we'll be doing our spraying with, uh, with this. With the T7, uh, 190. So yeah, we might have to keep the TW25 just to just to mean that we have enough practice to do stuff. Uh, right, so that is where we're going tonight. It is uh, it is half past ten here. It's twenty to five in the afternoon again. But we've run out of things to do for today. Uh, we will be back on Tuesday night. Uh, we'll be back on Tuesday night from 8.30 p.m. So please come and join me. Uh, let's save this. Yeah. Good. And pause that. This. We've got some stuff to do over here. We've got a couple of thank yous tonight. Uh, mainly because you guys are awesome. Uh, and I want to say thank yous. Um... So uh, I want to say thank you to uh, Simon101 for uh, for your cheer. Thank you very much. Uh, Fibio Concrete, thank you for your cheer as well. And the anonymous uh, cheerer as well. Thank you for your cheer as well. You are all awesome. Also, Dashborn, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, you are awesome. Um, we are going to go and do a raid. Who shall we raid tonight? Is GD streaming because he was thinking of it. He's not. So I'm going to send you over to Martin, who is a fantastic streamer. A uh, great guy. So go check him out. Um, and with that, well, almost. Uh, so I'll be back Tuesday night from 8.30. Uh, schedule will be released on Twitter and Facebook and on the Discord tomorrow. If you want to follow any of those, go check out the links I've just put in chat. You want to check me out on YouTube? Check out the link I've just put in as well. Um, and with that, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this live stream. Uh, if you're here on Twitch and have yet to follow, please do so and make sure you have notifications turned on so that you never miss a live stream from me. And if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, uh, please give us a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. And I will see you next time.